we are here to talk about this tapa like loop by mark sweep themed on crossbow um, the first clue i see is the 1 1 it's on the edge that means the only place where uh, the two ones can come is these um, so now this bottom right segment is stranded unless i take it out like this and also this uh, segment over here is clearly the 5 part of the 1 5 if it continues onward like this it will break the 3 so that means it continues at least one cell here that tells me that uh, if this 3-3, three, three, if, if I take this up, uh, this will form a loop by itself, it will enclose. So this goes this way and it will continue on this way because it can't go up here. And now the 1 for the 1-2 is like this. Now we do the same thing as the bottom right over here as well. Now um, I look at the 6. Uh, the 6 is interesting because I cannot take these 3 segments. Again, it will break 3. So that actually means that uh, if I look at it either way the common cells are these these will always be there now i also know that i cannot take uh, this cell of the three because that would break the six so um, i'll mark this out and now if if i go into this area then what that means is the six has two uh, loop strands these will these can't connect together so it'll form two different uh, chains that would break the six clue so what actually ends up happening is uh, none of these get taken that means this uh, this one two clue. If if the one part of it was here, it would cause a loop uh, here or isolation here. So the one part is actually here, and uh, that you can see now in this channel, you need the loop to go in and come out. That can only happen like this. Now the three three clue has to be finished like this, and also this is the only way the two can be satisfied. This continues on, now it continues on further. And this comes down like this. Right? Um, so now if I uh, if I use this for the 3-3, three, three, uh, the loop again will close prematurely. So this is how it resolves. Now I know that this 1-5 has a 1 either on this corner or this corner. If it's this corner, it'll hit the 6. That can't happen. So it's actually this, which helps us finish it off. So mainly we saw the start with the 1-1, one, one, but there were these interesting channels in the corners where you needed to avoid the loop closing and also this interaction between the 6 and the 3 and the 5 and the 3, you know, big numbers that you can't really uh, have a segment going through this way um, because that will uh, break one or the other. So we hope this walkthrough was helpful. Um, thank you.